What's going on guys, you're watching Jay's Two Cents and today we're gonna take a good hard look at the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 5S just launched this week by Apple. Now before we get into the software comparisons, we're gonna go ahead and take a look around the phone. As you can expect from the 5 to the 5S model, they are exactly the same when it comes to dimensions. Uh, with the exception of two d immediately blaring features when it comes to the exterior of the phones. Obviously the iPhone 5S has a fingerprint reader right here and the button is made of glass. On the back, the external microphone is perfectly round versus on the iPhone 5, which it's kind of hard to see here, it's slightly rectangular, but there are two LED flashes on the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 5, and that's because it has an amber bulb and a white bulb, that way you don't make all of your pictures at night look like you're taking photos of Casper. Other than that, they are exactly the same. They have the exact same speakers and microphone jack on the bottom. They have the same lightning port that we've all uh, come to love and hate from Apple at the same time and the screen size is absolutely the same as the exact same retina display that is in both devices. The front facing camera apparently is a lot better on the iPhone 5, I forget the megapixel rating, uh, but the iPhone 5S camera also does have a 60 frames per second mode. It's got a slightly lower f-stop when it comes to low light. Now Apple is claiming that you do get uh, DSLR quality images out of this iPhone 5S and since I am a DSLR fan myself, uh, have a couple myself, I can tell you right now that that is just basically a big load of shit. So we'll be taking some photos with both these cameras and comparing, but we'll go ahead and get started here with a couple of speed tests. We'll go ahead and start at both these phones at the exact same time on the count of three, and we'll see which one boots first. One, two, three. So you do have an Apple logo first on the iPhone 5S, and I'm not sure why I have a white background with a black Apple. I think that's because the iPhone 5S is on 7.0.1, and I'm on 7.0.0 because the point one was only uh, put out there to address some issues with the iPhone 5S. Okay, so we are up here on the iPhone 5S. We are still loading on the iPhone 5. We'll put a timer up. Okay, so I don't know what the difference was. I want to say it's probably close to 10 seconds. Um, but there you have it. I wish these screens would stop dimming out on me so often. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do a slide to unlock. We do not have a fingerprint set up on the iPhone 5S just to make things fair when it comes to getting into the device. So we'll slide to unlock together. And you can see those are pretty much identical. Once you're inside the phone, there's really not a whole lot uh, different between the two devices. So I've loaded a couple of apps that I feel are very common apps that people tend to use. We've got Netflix. We're gonna do a speed test, we got Pandora, and we've also got a benchmark utility called Passmark that we're gonna to use to really compare the hardware of these two devices. Make sure there's nothing running on both these phones. Okay, so as you can see, there's nothing running on either of these phones. We're gonna go ahead and do a, God damn it. We're gonna go ahead and do a, uh, a speed test here on the count of three, one, two, three. What the fuck? Oh, location settings aren't on. Okay, so now that we've got both phones uh, once again, reset, no apps are running. Hopefully no tweets will come in. We're gonna load up speed tests. This is on the Verizon LTE network. We're gonna see if there's any sort of radio improvement on the 5S versus the 5. We'll go ahead and open the apps together. One, two, three. They opened up at the exact same time. We'll begin the test. One, two, three. The preparing dots are slightly ahead on the 5S, but the ping test is nearly identical. 37 versus 61 though. But when it comes to speed, I mean, these two are pretty much identical. As you can see, the Verizon LTE speed here is pretty much garbage. And they're both struggling to upload. But the iPhone 5S is pulling a little bit ahead on the upload. And there you go. They're both connected to the same server. Nearly identical download speed. The upload speed was a little bit faster on the uh, 5S, but you can see the ping was half. Let's go ahead and restart this test for continuity, and we'll be right back. Okay. 
And we're back. Comically enough, we now have more than almost, we actually have just about tripled the download speed. And now the iPhone 5 won on the download test, 1.82 versus a 1.06. Let's do one more test just to see if we get the same results. All right, well, we're done. Looks like the iPhone 5 took the cake uh, two out of three times. 4.53 download versus a 2.74 on the 5S and 1.98 up versus a 1.31 on the 5S. Don't know what that's all about. Uh, I mean, this could be margin of error between both devices connecting to the tower and putting a load. Who knows? Who cares? That's the way the test actually worked out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close down the apps here. and We're going to make sure that nothing's running and we're going to go ahead and take a look at loading speed on Netflix, and we'll touch both these apps at the exact same time. One, two, three. Looks like the iPhone 5S pulled uh, quite a few seconds ahead. We're still loading on the iPhone 5. There we go, iPhone 5 is up. They are the exact same account, so they loaded the exact same data, as you can see right here. Got all my cartoons. Let's go ahead and load a a program or a movie that's never been played before and see uh, there we go how about how about Sesame Street we'll play a couple seconds of Sesame Street we'll see which one loads first count of three one two three they both came up at the exact same time we'll hit play one two three And we have video first on the iPhone 5. That was a little bit unexpected. All right. Abby Kadabby, we'll talk later. I mean, I mean, who is this? How do you close this thing? Oh, back arrow. There we go. Let's go ahead and go to one more program. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, same results. Let's load up some... Uh, how about uh, this Lego Ninja guy? One, two, three. Exactly the same. One, two, three. And once again, we have video first on the iPhone 5. Now, that could have something to do with the radio uh, performance that we were seeing out of this 5S a second ago when it comes to connecting to this particular uh, wireless or this Wi-Fi network here for Verizon. We're still loading on the 5S. Now, these are uncached videos, guys. These videos have not been visited before on either of these phones. And I'm going to go ahead and say the 5S may have timed out on this video because it's not even... There we go. Wow. Okay, so that, that's a little bit of a discrepancy there on uh, performance. I'm going to load up one more just to see if we get the same results. Let's go ahead and bring up... Uh, how about Undercover Boss? We'll do that. Okay. Same episode, episode one, season one. One, two, three. And once again, we have video first on the iPhone 5. But the 5S was only uh, two seconds behind on that one. But the bottom line is on all three tests, the iPhone 5 loaded video first. So take it. However you want, that's the way the results came out on that one. And these are both on the exact same wireless network, the LTE from Verizon. And I am only about a quarter mile away from the tower, so we can't blame reception on that one. Okay, uh, so now we're going to go ahead and do a couple of browser tests here uh, just to see what kind of performance we get in the browser. So let's make sure all the apps are shut down over here. We'll go to Safari. And uh, as you can see... The Disney website came up slightly faster on the iPhone 5S than the iPhone 5, but that's because these are cached websites. We've been to both these websites. Uh, in, a, in a test I was doing without realizing that the, uh, the camera wasn't even recording. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, we'll go ahead and go to the Apple website. Neither of these phones have been to Apple's website, ironically, and we will see which one loads faster here on the LTE for Verizon. One, two, three. And once again, the iPhone 5 loaded faster than the iPhone 5S. Okay, so we got Newegg.com in the menu bar on both these phones. One, two, one, two, three. iPhone 5 is already loaded before the iPhone 5S even brought up any content. So 
<clears throat> I don't know if maybe there's something going on with this iPhone 5S when it comes to the radio, but the iPhone 5 is just dominating it every time it gets raw data over the internet. Now, if you visit a cached website that you've already been to, it's an entirely different story, especially when it comes to bringing up the app. You can see the iPhone 5S. Well, I guess they're pretty much the same. But let's go ahead now and compare the hardware just right up against each other. We'll go ahead and use performance, which is pass mark, performance benchmark. Run both these at the same time. We'll run the benchmark and see exactly how they compare hardware-wise. So we'll go ahead and come back once this test is complete, and we will compare the numbers at the end. Okay, we're back. Both have finished here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. And okay, so now when it comes to the numbers, it becomes pretty obvious that the iPhone 5S definitely beats the iPhone 5 when it comes to the system. The iPhone 5S scored a 5,412 system score versus the iPhone 5's 3,653. Uh, when it comes to disk speed, believe it or not, the, the storage write speed of my iPhone 5 is, tw uh, well, 13 megabytes per second faster than the iPhone 5S, but the read speed is half of what it is on the 5S. So the read speed is being smashed by the iPhone 5S. Memory-wise, memory is quite a bit faster on the 5S, 886 uh, megabyte, megabits per second, or megabytes per second, versus 601 on the iPhone 5. 2D performance, look at this. A 2488 score versus a 1230, so double. And then when it comes to 3D, 1928 versus 1806. Simple test, 60 frames per second on both, and the complex test, 49.9 frames per second on the iPhone 5 versus 55.6. So simple test, they were capped out, and the complex test was faster on the iPhone 5. Now I can't explain why the iPhone 5 was beating the 5S on the apps that ended up using uh, cellular data. They're both on the same network, they're both LTE. The iPhone 5S is brand new, so there's not been uh, you know any anything going on with the phone that could be slowing it down. The only thing I can think of is that maybe the iPhone 5S isn't being fully utilized yet with its 64-bit processor. Now time will tell if developers are going to start really tailoring their apps towards this faster processor uh, bit rate of the processor on the iPhone 5S. Obviously they will because that's going to be the future for the I iOS apps, but ultimately I think if you're on an iPhone 5, it clearly makes no sense to go to an iPhone 5S. Not from this perspective. If you're on an older phone like a 4S or a 4 or obviously anything earlier than that, or you're coming over to iPhone from a different carrier or a different platform like Android or Windows phone, it makes sense to go with the 5S if you can afford it. The iPhone 5C is going to have the same kind of performance that you see here on my 5 because it's the exact same hardware. So if you want to make the decision for you, the iPhone 5S makes perfect sense if you're not coming from an iPhone 5. It's just not big enough jump. The apps in the 64-bit uh, process isn't there yet. It's something that's going to be evolving. It's the very first 64-bit phone, so it's going to take time for it to catch on with the developers. So what we'll go ahead and do now is go ahead and leave you with some pictures taken between both phones so that you can compare. And then uh, we'll see you guys in my next video. And if you want to learn a little bit more about iOS, make sure you click this video on the screen right now and you'll learn all about iOS 7. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Take care.